Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to create and drop a SQL Server table dynamically from a VBA Excel code using AWDB connection. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's create the another table dynamically from the text box control. Right now we have only Excel table which we have created previously. Now we'll create another table dynamically from this text box. Create table. Uh, the table name is a school table. School table ID integer type and uh, integer type and um, student name and varchar and varchar 50. Now let's click. The table is created successfully. Click OK. Now switch over to our SQL Server table. Now I'm selecting the school table again. Right click the mouse. Refresh. Again expanding the tables. See here we got Excel table and school table. School table we have just created right now. This is the school table. Now let's delete the table dynamically right now we have two tables excel table and school table let's refresh the table uh, folder again a uh, database again tables folder we have excel table and school table i want to delete the school table so let's delete this one drop table school table which is our table name school table is our table name click and here we got a message the table is deleted successfully click ok now let's check our database notice here we got two tables now now let's refresh the database school database refresh and expand the tables folder if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I have created one new workbook. The workbook name is a book one. Now my aim is I want to create a new table as well as I want to drop the table dynamically from Excel using a VBA code. The table I will create in SQL Server Management Studio and I will drop the table also from this database. So before that, Let's connect to my SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server name, I'm connecting the database. After I successfully connected the database, let me expand this database as, as well as Charan database. For this example, uh, let's take this school examples. I'm expanding the tables folder. If you notice in the school database, there is no any user defined databases. Now my aim is I want to create a new table in this school database from VBA code using ADODB connection. So let's start the coding part. In order to create a user forum, first we need to go to developer. Under developer, there is a Visual Basic. Click that one. Now here we've got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now um let's create one user forum go to insert click user forum here we got the user forum let me expand this little bit and i'm keeping this toolbox aside i'm dragging and drop one text box control let's expand the text box control now i'm making this text box control is a multi-line multi-line the multi-line is false so i'm making true so i can enter multi-lines in this text box control after that i'm adding one button control i'm changing the button control name to click auto says true let's put this here increase bigger size 
font I'm changing to 14 bold okay now after adding the designing part I have one text box control with a multi-line property and second one one button control now the code is select the button control double click that one and here we got the command button click event now before writing the coding part first we need to add one adodb references for that notice on the menu there is a tools option click that one and this tools there is a references select that one and now select from this scroll bar microsoft it is yeah microsoft activex data objects 2.0 library select this checkbox notice the tick mark here which means it's selected click ok after i selected that object activex object now i can able to access adodb classes and functions um now let's create three objects first one dim called as adodb.connection the second one dim i require one more object for the record set rs as adodb.record set and the third one is for our sql connection string the data source sql con is an object name as string now after declaring the variables now we require the string connection string the data source so sql sql con is equals to the first parameter is a provider provider is equals to uh, sql o l e d b colon semicolon i'm closing this provider after that ampersand underscore so i can add the next parameter in a new line the next one is a data source data source here the data source is our uh, data source is our sql server name so let's grab our sql server name switch over to the sql server management studio click the plug button here we got the uh, server name which is this one of my sql server server name is cancel this one cancel switch over to our coding part paste here colon semicolon ampersand underscore after that integral initial catalog we, we write initial catalog catalog is equals to the initial catalog is our database our database is a school database in this school database i want to create a user defined table i want to create a table from vba code so database name is a school so let's add that one school the database name is colon ampersand underscore after that integrated security integrated security security is equals to sspi sspi colon that's it that's a square colon now after we got the sql string connection string of the sql server now we need to open the connection string for the adio db so set con is equals to new adio db dot connection i created the object after that uh, after that we need to add con is equals to con dot open method open sql connection sql con sql con now after open the connection string we need to write the query we need to execute our sql query to create a table so here for that i'm using record set rs is equals to um, con dot execute method in this execute method i'm adding uh, 
um, the query of we are we will enter on our text box so i'm adding the text box id text box one dot value value then uh, then that's it once the table is has been created successfully once the table is created successfully i want to get the message the message box is a message box the table the uh, table space ampersand text box one space text box one dot text uh, here not the value here the text sorry for that text ampersand is created successfully that's it uh, we don't require the column here that's it we done the coding part let's check the output i'm running this application and here we got the final output of our application notice this is a text box control with a multi-line property and we got a button control to create a table dynamically from vba into our sql server database the database name is a school right now we don't have any user defined data tables notice here once again i'm refreshing this database if i expand this tables folder we don't have any uh, table created it's a brand new school database now let's create a table create table the table name i'm adding excel sheet the table name is excel sheet id integer and sheet name and var cal and var cal 50 just for the demo purpose i have added only two column names only now i'm clicking this button control invalid use of property we need to set set orders now let's close this one again now let's check the output and here we got the final output let's create a table create table mm, table name is a excel table excel table id integer data type is integer and sheet name the next column name is sheet name and var car 50 that's it now before click to create a table now let's check again i'm refreshing the school database right click the school database refresh expanding the tables folder here we don't have any user defined data tables now let's create the table click and notice here we got a message table created we got everything here so what i'll do is let's uh, check this one table already created now let's refresh expanding the tables folder here we got the excel table now let's what i'll do is instead of this one let's do this one the table is created successfully now let's check the final output now let's create the another table dynamically from the text box control right now we have only excel table which we have created previously now we'll create another table dynamically from this text box create table uh, the table name is a school table school table id integer type and uh, integer type and um, student name and varchar and varchar 50 now let's click the table is created successfully click ok now switch over to our sql server table now i'm selecting the school table again right click the mouse refresh again expanding the tables so here we got excel table and school table school table we have just created right now this is a school table 
now i want to delete the table dynamically from vba core from this school database i want to remove totally drop the table so against which over instead of um, a table is created successfully i'm changing i'm changing to is deleted successfully now let's check the final output now let's delete the table dynamically right now we have two tables excel table and school table let's refresh the table uh, folder again a uh, database again tables folder we have excel table and school table i want to delete the school table so let's delete this one drop table school table which is our table name school table is our table name click and here we got a message the table is deleted successfully click ok now let's check our database notice here we got two tables now now let's refresh the database school database refresh and expand the tables folder and notice here in the school database the school table has been deleted successfully just we have written the code now i want to delete this excel table also let's do that one instead of school table i'm adding drop table excel table which is our table name click the table is deleted successfully click ok switch over to our sql server management studio i'm refreshing this school folder expanding the tables folder notice now we don't have any tables we have deleted the two tables dynamically that's it in this video tutorial i have explained i have shown how to create and drop the tables dynamically from excel vba code using adwo db connection that's it thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment. We'll catch you in my next video tutorial.